what is up guys it has been a day um, you're seeing this currently on Thursday uh, June 6th um, I am recording this the day before I leave tomorrow to go to Hawaii um, I'll let you know more about that on social media coming up in the next few days um, but I'm gonna get some work out there with some guys out there um, but it has been a crazy couple weeks um, I've been slammed with lessons um, which is great obviously awesome um, but it's getting warmer out here in California it's getting uh, it's getting hot um, which means the balls fly but means it's uh, it's definitely takes a toll on the body um, I was up early this morning to work with uh, JP Rivas and Kyle Connell out in Palos Verdes um, we did a 7 a.m. session so I was up at 4 to beat traffic if you live in LA you know what I'm talking about um, got out there early, then drove up to LAX to pick up Kelly's grandmother who's hanging out with her for the weekend while I'm gone. Drove her back home for about an hour and then went straight to another session for about two hours. Cosme, my film guy, came out and uh, filmed the remaining parts of the video that you guys will see hopefully by Sunday, which is the first uh, episode of my How to Punt a Football series. Um, so stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, I'm home, I'm getting this filmed before I uh, have a dinner tonight with my family and then Kelly and her grandma and then I wake up again tomorrow at 4 to get back to LAX and uh, yeah. Um, but I wanted to get this video recorded because I wanted to go over um, and uh, get this video done to go over um, some high school film. So I said when I first started the channel that what I'd like to do is on, I said every Friday, obviously I've failed so far. But um, on Fridays, what I'd like to do is to showcase um, some high school guys um, that either, you know, in this case, win a contest or um, just guys that submit me something, have a great story. Um, and I would, what I would do is break down their film uh, on the channel as a video. So today we have Colin Cox. Colin is a 2021 punter out of Mississippi. He is out of Diberville, Deberville High School. Sorry if I'm getting that wrong, Colin. Um, but Colin answered the bell yesterday when I said, hey, if anyone could get me 15 subscribers for the channel, I'd break down their film. He did that, he crushed it, he sent me proof, and here we go. So Colin sent me four things of film, and what we're gonna do is just gonna go through each clip and just give a brief rundown of what I see, what he could fix, um, and go from there. So this series should be pretty cool, um, but I'm gonna roll the intro and then get into the film. See you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so what you'll see now is four clips um, and I'll be kind of talking through them. You'll be able to hear my voice and, and obviously with uh, Cosme editing this, it might be back and forth to me, but I'll be looking at my phone here where I have the clips. So what we're going to do is start with clip one and go to clip four and uh, we'll go from there. So in the first clip you can see here from Colin, um, he's obviously filming himself, well shout out him. We all know the grind if we're a kicker or a punter of trying to get good film by ourselves. It's like taking a selfie punter kicker style. Um, but the first thing I want to notice here, the first thing I want to bring up here is Colin's body position and the ball movement. So when I look at film for punters, I look at a couple things. Uh, first of all, I base everything off of the four main pillars, right? Footwork, arm position, grip, and body position. Um, we can look at things like ball movement and such like that, but a couple big things that stick out, two things that stick out on this clip, okay? One, his body position. I think Colin's pretty tall here. So if you look at, okay, when he is taking his first step and his first step is down, body looks pretty tall. And the other thing that really, really, really sticks out is how tucked in his elbow is. Okay, so the problem with tucking your elbows, guys, is that if you think about it, and wherever you are at home right now, just, just think about this. If I tuck my elbow in when I'm gripping the ball, okay? So if I tuck my elbow in, it immediately pinches into my ribs which will make my hip pinch, this side of me pinch, my kicking side. It'll make my right elbow dip a little bit and it'll cause me to get a little bit off balance. So what you'll notice here, okay, is with Colin's right arm, it tucks really into his elbow. Okay, the ball kind of comes in a little bit over his leg. Everything else looks good to the naked eye, but if you look from that elbow tuck, although it doesn't look like he's very off balance, if you look when he goes to swing, he's really dipping down with that right shoulder and that's what causes him to kind of dip down with the right side, pinch the hip, and then swing up and across. Okay, if you look at the ball position, as soon as he tucks his elbow in, the ball kind of rolls down and off his hand, which is typical what we see from a, a hand being held position. So again, if you look at my hand here, 
When I tuck the elbow, the hand really rolls there. And that can cause the ball to turn up and in, down and in, but again, you look and he's really pinching that elbow. So what I would say here after the first clip is, we just wanna relax his elbow just a little bit. That'll help keep him a little more natural and a little bit more athletic, and it'll help eliminate that ball really tucking in. So if we go to the second clip, okay, completely different punt. We look at the same thing, and again, you see that elbow tucking in, right? So you see the elbow tucking in, you see the ball rolling down and off his hand again, okay? And again, you can see also that he's pretty tall. So what I'd like here is I'd like his shoulders to be a little bit more forward, a little bit more aggressive, but mostly his swing and the way he falls off the ball back into the right is pretty dependent on the fact that that elbow is being tucked, the wrist is rolling, and he's trying to hit a ball that's essentially tucked inside and rolling out of his hand. So if we can eliminate that and eliminate that, it'll fix his swing and keep his body from falling so far back into the right. So if we go to the third clip now, the side view, this is where we start to notice how tall he is, okay? On the first step, if Cosme pauses it here on the first step when his right foot is down, you can see that he's almost straight up and down. The problem is that's when we get our hips to shoot forward, that's when we get our shoulders to be back a little bit, um, and what we want is our body in a slightly more aggressive position, shoulders in front of the hips and butt behind. Okay, I always say stick your butt back, shoulders forward. Um, you know, punting is you know trying to get aggressive going downfield. But if you look here, he's pretty tall, and also you start to also you also start to see that there's a little bit of movement in the ball coming up and down, and that when he does go to drop the ball, it's pretty high. You know, typically from a drop, um, you know, some people call it a drop table. I just I hate that term. Um, but we want our forearm parallel to the floor, or if anything pointed slightly down towards the floor. We rarely want it up. We don't want to drop up around our chest. So you see here on this clip, if you pause it at his first step, his forearm's pointing a little bit up, the ball's coming up with him, it's almost chest height, chest height, and he's pretty tall. So what we want to do is get his shoulders a little bit more forward. As you can see when he goes into his second step, his shoulders are way behind his hips. He's almost leaning back. The ball is kind of rolling out of his hand again, rolling up and in, and that's what causes the ball to go left, which you'll see in the last clip. But again, that raise of the ball, the elbow being tucked in, what we want him to do is uh, keep his elbow away from his ribs, keep him a little more in a natural position, nice and relaxed. That'll help the ball rolling out. And then we also want his shoulders to be a little bit more forward on that third clip there. And then going to the last clip where you look from behind him, okay, this is kind of a good indication of what I was talking about. If you look at his footwork, he's going right down the line, right? He's not stepping too far right, he's not doing any of that, his footwork is pretty darn good. But the ball goes very, very, very left, all right? So the ball gets pulled extremely to the left, and that, if, if your steps are good, okay, and your ball's not turning in too much, which, you know, turned up and in a little bit on the previous clips, but if it's, if it's not doing one of the very obvious things, then kind of a, a little bit more advanced uh, thought process would be that it's that elbow. Because that elbow was tucking in, as we saw in clip one and two, it's kind of forcing his body to compensate. So it's that right shoulder is dropping, the right hip is pinching, and his swing is now having to go that way to kind of balance him out um, because he's leaning so far due to that elbow tuck. So a really tiny adjustment of relaxing his elbow and bringing his elbow back out could do it wonders for him in terms of keeping his balance and making his best punt not go left. Okay, so for Colin, what I'd say is, number one, relax the elbow. Um, keep it away from your, your body a little bit. You can do drills where you're really over-exaggerating your elbow being away from your body. We never want to teach and never want to pinch our elbow close to our ribs. Two, um, I would get your body a little bit more forward, so shoulders a little bit more aggressive, but a little farther back. Um, and other than that, those two things should eliminate the problems he has on this film. Um, but again, they were good balls, and obviously Colin's super, super talented and, and working hard, but That'd be my advice. So again, you guys, thank you for watching this. Um, I'd love to do this more and we'll come up with new and creative ways to uh, get you guys to send me video and for me to break it down. Um, you know, I don't want to go too much in depth because I don't want to ramble on and on. Obviously, I geek out about this stuff, so for me, this, this is super fun, but um, I want to keep it short and sweet. I want you guys to watch it to see what I see. Um, and the goal with these is just to highlight you guys. Um, I will put Colin's 
uh, Instagram and stuff down in the description, so give him a follow. Um, you know, we're trying to grow this community of punters um, as much as we can. So give him a follow. Obviously, make sure you're following me on social media, which are down below. Um, give my guy Cosme a follow who's doing all my videos. But at the end of the day, guys, I love this. Keep sending me stuff, and uh, we'll go on from there. So when I get back from Hawaii, I'll check in with you guys. I'll be making a little video about that. And uh, keep updated on social media, which again is down below. Um, maybe I'll have Cosme link it somewhere on the screen, somewhere in here. So yeah, check it out. Follow me. Follow my adventure. We'll see you guys soon. Peace. Thanks for watching this video guys. To continue along with this journey and watch this channel grow, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel.